It's March 5th, 2023. It's Savannah, Georgia. No. Georgia Armstrong Southern University's Armstrong campus. This is a follow up for my hand pollinating small flower pawpaws. We're over here where more small flower pawpaws were growing last year. The ant hill there, that's a fire ant hill, is new. So that wasn't here last year. So that's kind of making this more difficult than it needs to be. I'm trying to figure out if any of these pawpaws are still here. Oh, okay, yeah, I see one. And it's March. Yeah, exactly like that. It's March. So if you're going to go poking around in the woods, bring something to poke the grass with because there are snakes active right now. You see that? Yeah. Couldn't tell if that was a leaf or a frog. Uh, Alright, well there's one small flower pawpaw right here. That one's got flat. But I'm going to see if there's an easier one to get to because I don't feel like having to reach down. That's a baby hickory. Where are you, Papa? They were a lot easier to see last year. There was one over here at this corner. If it is still here, I don't see it yet. It might still be dormant. So I guess we're going to have to do the other one. But I won't be able to show you how to pollinate that one because it's way back in there. <laughs> well, there are some blueberries back there that are flowering. here. I see more some some more blueberries. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to go with this first one. But I have my paintbrush here with pollen from the plant in the last video. I poke the grass again. And this here is going to be in the way. So, any cars going by, I'm just going to look like a weirdo. But anyways, here is this. Wow, you can't see that at all. Here is this small flower pawpaw. It's got one green flower and one male one. So I'm just going to set this on here. I hope you can see pollen goes into the green flower because this is an immature flower so it is able to accept pollen and there's another one back here so I'll do that one too I don't know if the paintbrush is getting in there because these are really really tiny flowers which if it's not obvious is where the small flower pawpaw gets its name I don't know if any of that just showed up at all, but hopefully it did, because I think most of the other small flower pawpaws here got chopped down, which is okay, because they'll grow back, but it just means we won't get fruit from them this year. So I'm going to end this video, and then we'll, well, I'll, I'll walk this way, and I'll show you where the other pawpaw grows when it is not chopped to the ground. It was the first one I found here in Georgia. So this is the walking path that leads to the, there's a sports field over here and there's a frisbee golf course which they call disc golf because I guess the word frisbee is like whatever you call it. 
copyrighted or something stupid like that. Uh, okay, yeah. It's kind of hard to figure out where the pawpaws were because all the brush has been cleared away. I think it's this lamp post here, or maybe it was the one back there. Hmm. Yeah, okay, it was this lamp post. The lamp posts here get. Well, I heard something moving. The lamp posts get smaller in number as you go further in. So, we'll just see if we can see any pawpaws re emerging yet. I don't think they would be. They might have to figure out, oh, I got chopped down, I have to send up new things now. But they cleared a lot, like five feet back from the sidewalk, which is nice. It's just sad for this pawpaw in particular. But yeah, there is one that grows. It's either here or this lamppost. I really can't tell now because <laughs> Everything, all my landmarks got destroyed. Maybe it was this one, I don't know. No, I think it was definitely further that way. But none of them are regrowing yet. So this video is over for now. And then I'll make another one when I find a, another pawpaw that hopefully has some flowers on it. Bye bye.